Welcome to the analyzer. Comics to me is any type of story that uses both language and images to tell a story. I would go even beyond just comics by saying even children books, aka picture books, are comics. Now before the comment section goes off in a tizzy about how a story, how a, an epic story like Superman and, and No David cannot be compared at all. I would like you to keep in mind, I would like you to just hear me out. I am not saying that one is better than the other. Hon honestly, honestly, when I was growing up, my favorite story was Sidney the Cerebro. Now, for those of you who don't know, Sydney the Cerebro is about a Cerebro, yes, majorly ironic, that, that enters a race for, made for motorboats. It, it is a really great read. I, I mean, I'm 20, and, and, I, and I still get a kick out of this book. But as I grew up, I found myself leaning more towards things like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon than and other animated mangas that made their way onto the prime time of kids' television or into my dentist's office. Both comics and picture books use, use both use language and pictures to tell, to tell the story. The only difference is that manga and comics are a tad, are a tad more advanced than most picture books. By which I mean that it doesn't really take much to fully comprehend what is going on in a, in a picture book. Whereas in some comics, like, like Superman, it takes a tad more decoding on the reader's part to fully understand what is going on. I mean, yes, you can read a comic to a five-year-old, but don't expect them to be able to connect dots. Connect the dots between Superman, Superman punching Lex Luthor in the face while he is while he is talking to him, because most five year olds cannot draw a conclusion from multiple facts. They are unable to assume that the conversation pieces happened moments before Superman had to punch Lex Luthor. Whereas, whereas if whereas you read them. The Hungry Caterpillar. It is a lot easier for them to draw conclusions because there's only one or two facts being presented at a time. Either A, the caterpillar is... is... is eating and it gets bigger, or B, it... because it gets bigger, it then then goes into a, into a cocoon, into a cocoon. Um. This proves that picture books are in fact comics to some extent. I'm not trying to suggest that all comics are in fact picture books, but let's face the music here. That copy of Superman you have, or whatever it may be, is nothing more than a picture book made for an older audience. They both involve some decoding on the reader's, on the reader's part. In my kindergarten class, just before nap time, my teacher would always read us a picture book. But with my ADD, I actually hated being read to because my mind would drift off so easily that I couldn't piece together what the F was going on in the story. So there was definitely some more tension needed to comprehend what is going on in the story. This has been my video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and please don't forget to don't forget to leave a comment. I, I do love hearing from you guys. So, if you could, please give me some more ideas. Because I'm running out of ideas. Like, I don't know what to do next. Like, like I have an idea, but I don't think I want to do it yet. Because, I'm not sure if you guys can handle it. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that you guys are...
Um, I'm not saying that you guys can't handle it mentally. I just, I, just, I just do not think that my voice can be talking this long. So, so if you, so if you do like the, the length of this video, could you please let me know, and I will. Um, if you, if you think it should be longer or shorter, let me know, and I will edit it to, to the best of my ability because I do need to please most of you guys. So, um, I think that is everything I need to mention. Let me find my. Um, notes here. Um, I mentioned that. Mentioned that. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Um, I. I don't want this to come back to bite me in the butt. Um, so I don't. I don't want you guys to think that I was calling you dumb earlier. Because I really wasn't. You guys are actually some of the brightest viewers on YouTube. Especially if you can deal with my voice. Be like, I have a tendency, I have a tendency to just feel really fast, and, like I just said, and I'm actually very, it's very useful in, like, my beat poetry, but if you could, could you please let me know what you, I think, of my speeding up and slowing down, is it too difficult to comprehend, or what? I know this is a longer, longer than usual outro, but... At the same time, I feel like it's needed because because I need to get more feedback from you guys. Um, I, I know most of my viewers they know in real life. Could you please leave a comment and not just tell me in person because you know me, I, I'm forgetful. So, um, yeah, that's all. Um, could you guys actually before I head out here? Um, no, I don't have no fuses to today. Never mind, um, yeah. Have, have a great night, guys. Peace.